2025 is gonna be a massive year for Apple with multiple Apple events coming up very soon. So let's jump into 10 products that you should expect to see this year from Apple and why you should be so excited. Jumping right into number one, we're expecting the new AirPods Pro 3 that are gonna be coming out likely this September. And we're expecting a massive update. We're expecting a full redesign for both the case and the earbuds themselves. We're expecting a lot of new different updates like better battery life, an updated chip that's going in, much better active noise cancellation, which I'm personally very excited about because these are already so good. So if you don't wanna wait and potentially spend more, you can actually get the AirPods Pro 2s on Amazon for a great deal with the link down below. Now product number two is coming very, very soon at WWDC. This is gonna be the refreshed Mac Pro, which Mark Gurman did say is coming in the second half of 2025 alongside the leak he said for the Mac Studio which we already have but the problem is that one only has an M3 Ultra chip while also having a less expensive M4 Max which doesn't really make sense well the conclusion Mark Gurman made was Apple is likely saving M4 Ultra for the Mac Pro so that way it is a step above and it remains that way I'm very excited for that chip now for product number three we have the iPad Pro that is getting updated by the end of this year, likely in October or November with the brand new M5 chip. Now, this new iPad Pro, we're not actually expecting that many differences, just this new chip. So if you don't really wanna wait on that, the M4 model is still really good and especially the other brand new iPad A16. That one is the best value iPad of all time. Now for product number four, it's the Home Pad, which Mark Gurman said is coming later this year and it might potentially be revealed at WWDC because it has a lot to do with software, especially since Mark Gurman says this is gonna have a brand new home OS operating system. You'll basically have like this hub that you can mount with different accessories on your wall or on your kitchen anywhere and it controls everything. I'm personally super excited about it because I'm building a new home right now and I'm trying to make it jam packed with smart accessories like matter support. So I can't wait for this to come out. Now for number five, we have the iPhone 17 series. And just the other day we had a confirmation that the new 17 just completed the EVT process process, which is engineering validation testing, which basically means it's on track for the regular September launch. Well, this time we're getting some awesome changes with the new A19 and A19 Pro chip. We have the models right here. These are the aluminum metal dummy models. Very pricey to get these. And you can see we have this new camera bump design for the pros, which I'm personally really excited about. We also have the air, which is impossibly thin insanely thin with this new camera bump design, and yet it's still gonna have MagSafe, and Apple still says the battery life is gonna be just as good as any of your other iPhones, while the Pro models are getting even thicker this year with battery life being improved and potentially even charging speed upgraded as well. Now, if you want the fastest charging anywhere you go, check out the Ampace Andes 1500 portable power station from our sponsor Ampace, which is basically a supercharged power bank that cannot not only charge all of your tech devices anywhere you go with its nine labeled ports on the side with an awesome built-in flashlight, but it also has four AC outlets on the side for plugging in anything you want, like a power tool battery and basically 99% of household appliances with up to 3,600 watts of surge power. But I actually used it this past weekend to power a 4K projector at camp. It's got 1,462 watt hours of capacity, which is enough to charge an iPhone 16 Pro Max 80 times and it fast charges in just 55 minutes with a regular outlet or you can even plug it into your car socket to recharge while driving. It works in extreme weather down to negative 20 degrees Celsius and it's backed by a five year warranty and 10 year lifespan. And you can get one today by using the link in the description below. Now moving on to number six, we are expecting new MacBook Pro models to come later this year, likely in October. This of course is gonna have the same M5 
5 chip that we're expecting in the iPad Pro. So it's going to have a performance and efficiency boost, which is always nice. But the MacBook Pro itself, we're not expecting any major design upgrades or differences. This is basically going to be like a spec bump. So it is going to get better with multiple things updated, but no major design changes. So if you've been waiting for a while, that could be the perfect opportunity to upgrade and get awesome performance. Now, moving on to number seven, we're expecting a bunch of new Apple Watch models to come this September. Of course, we have the Apple Watch Series 11, which is likely going to look the same in terms of design, but Apple's gonna be adding blood pressure monitoring, which they've been working on for many years, and I'm excited that it's finally coming because it's gonna help a lot of people out. We also have the Ultra 3. Last year, we basically didn't really get any other upgrades other than a black finish, a couple of things, and that's it. So it was very boring. So we might get more this year. And also the Apple Watch SE 3, that was one that we were expecting last year, but we never got it. So this year it's coming with new plastic cases, which could look really cool in different colors and help bring that price down. Now for number eight, we have the Apple TV 4K. And I'm really excited for a new model because I'm planning to build this really cool fireplace TV setup at my new construction build right now with a Samsung frame, which is gonna look really nice. And I'm planning to put in an Apple TV in the side cabinet plugged into the uh, Samsung One Connect box. And the one thing I'm really excited about is that it's gonna be more efficient with an upgraded chip. So you have less chances of overheating when it's in an enclosed cabinet. So that's gonna be really excited. And I'm just waiting for a new model to come out. So I hope it comes out sooner than later, but it's looking like fall at this point. Now for number nine, we have the HomePod Mini 2, which is getting a bunch of upgrades in terms of connectivity, like a new Wi-Fi modem, potentially better ultra wideband connection. We're gonna be getting a better chip for sure, better home compatibility, and likely better sound, maybe different colors. And what if we actually get a new HomePod 2, the larger version? That's gonna be awesome because I'm actually planning on using two HomePods in stereo mode for my new sound system for the fireplace TV setup. And finally, for number 10, we are now expecting the Vision Air to come later this year. Yep, just a couple of days ago, Mark German from Bloomberg reported that we could be seeing this Vision Air come before the end of the year. And that's really big for Apple because right now the Vision Pro is way too expensive and a lot of people have complaints about the weight. Well, the Vision Air is gonna be lighter. It's gonna use titanium for some of the internal components, which is always nice. And more importantly, the price is gonna get cut down to about $2,000. So I think that's gonna be a lot more affordable and a lot more people are gonna start using this and making it more like a mass market product. So there you go. With that said, those are 10 very exciting products that we're expecting from Apple this year. I think it's gonna be awesome when we start seeing these roll out, especially at WWDC next month. Super excited for that, especially iOS 19, the full redesign. It's going to be amazing. So definitely subscribe above for more videos like this one. Check out one of those two right there, including our WWDC leaks video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.